Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you a video about the single player campaign in Battlefield 1. We have not heard much about the campaign, as it's usually overshadowed by multiplayer games, and has been downright the low point in games like Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, and it kind of sucks because the multiplayer is so great and the game is so great, and so it kind of sucks to see a downside, which is the campaign. Now, I actually like, uh, I really liked Battlefield Hardline's campaign. It was something new and I liked it. So I'm hoping that Battlefield 1 can, you know, uh, keep me satisfied and really bring a good campaign back to Battlefield and make it, like, worth playing, I guess. So in this video, I'll be analyzing what we know so far about the campaign and the setting of the campaign in Battlefield 1. I'll basically be going over everything that we've heard from YouTubers uh, and the press and Battlefield itself. So I've compiled everything I have here. I probably have missed some stuff, but this is all I've got. Um, I'm making a bunch of other analysis videos. I already made one about the weapons, and I'm planning a bunch more, for st so stay tuned for those and check out my other one. And yeah, getting straight into the video, I'll be talking about the setting. So uh, one thing that I heard in the stream after the reveal was that Battlefield 1 will be a global game. Like, uh, they said that it would be a global war, and that there'd be places all over the world that we can fight. And this is evident throughout the trailer. You know, we've seen stuff in, you know, mountains and in the desert. And so we've learned that that desert is actually the in Arabia. And uh, through the DLC pack and through the stream, we've confirmed that uh, Lawrence of Arabia will be there and stuff. And so it'll be... Uh, kind of like that. Um, so that's the Arabian Desert. And then there's also maps in Italy, like the Alps, the Italian mountains. Uh, you can see in the trailer, but it's kind of hard to identify. Uh, and there's new locations that we haven't seen in Battlefield before, apparently. And once again, it's going to be a global war all around the world. And the reason why it's going to be all around the world is because there, it's going to be following several different people and how the world changes their lives. So onto the campaign... It'll be very cinematic, you know, uh, I heard Jack Frag say there'll be like explosions everywhere and it'll look incredible and it'll be really cinematic. And so, considering multiplayer already looks so good, uh, the things they can do with campaign and cutscenes and stuff, I, I assume will be amazing. Like, Battlefield 4, even if the campaign story was pretty bad, there were still moments that were really cool, you know, with like, uh, on like, I think it was that, like a ship. I haven't really played much of the campaign, but... It, there are really mo there are moments that are really sick, and so hopefully it can you know be really cool considering the amount of evolution and stuff. So to be more specific, uh, the plot will be following seven seven different people throughout uh, their worlds and how World War One changes their life. Um, in the trailer, we saw that guy that looks up at the at the blimp thing. Uh, we saw that guy who covers his ears um, when they set off the artillery we saw that person on horseback uh with the sword uh we and we also saw that guy driving a tank so the maybe those will be the people and maybe not but i think it'll be really cool the reason why i think those are the characters is because they had a lot of face details and i'm they probably wouldn't put, put so much work on the faces of a multiplayer character like that so i'm pretty sure that those will be the characters and also, the single player will also focus on battle, uh, like the moments that define Battlefield. So, uh, on in Battlefield 4, for example, actually in Battlefield Hardline especially, there's one scene where you're in a tank, like another when you're in a car, but it's mostly when you're on the ground just walking as a soldier, I guess. So, in Battlefield 1, they're going to take this up a notch, and they're going to have like missions where you're solely in a jet, you know, not jet, but a triplane, biplane. <laughs> But solely in a tank, solely in a jet, uh, I keep saying jet, solely in a plane, solely in a tank, solely in like a battleship or like on a horse or something. And so they're really going to focus on, you know, having the whole battlefield experience wrapped up in the campaign. And then one last thing is the achievements. So as you, if you watched my last video, you saw the achievements that were leaked. And I'll show them on the screen now, the achievements that were leaked that uh, relate to the campaign. And basically there are these six achievements called episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the description of the achievements is that it says complete friends in high places, complete nothing is written, complete uh, through mud and blood, complete uh, Avanti, uh, I don't really want to say that, but complete Avanti Savoie, uh, complete the runner, and complete the epilogue. So 
we can assume, now this isn't confirmed, but we can assume that these are the names of the missions, which is really cool. Uh, I remember in Battlefield Hardline, it was episodic, like it was set in episodes. Hard and I just got a Steam message, uh, Steam message, but um, Battlefield Hardline had episodes, like there was the prologue, the episode one, episode two, and I liked that because it kind of felt like the presentation worked out really well, and so uh, according to this, it'll be returning to episodic form. Uh, I'll I'll have a photo, as I said earlier, so that you guys can see. And also check out my last video for all of the achievements, because I do talk a little bit more about the campaign there. Uh, these achievements, like the titles of the missions, do relate to World War One. I. I looked up that um, Italian word, or at least I, I'm 99% sure it's Italian, the Avanti Savoie, and uh, apparently that was an Italian war cry, and so that kind of confirms the Italian Alps, even though we already saw it in the trailer, so we know that there's going to be stuff there. And so, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'll be making a bunch more analysis videos, as I said earlier. So make sure to stay tuned for those and check out my other Battlefield 1 videos. But yeah, that is it, guys, for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment on what you think about the campaign in Battlefield games, and uh, maybe even subscribe. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.